Yo, guys, welcome back to the Blue Podcast with me, Tom and Ben. How you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks. And we finally got my sister on after the fifth try. How you doing? Good, thank you. And we have one of my best mates, Thea. How you doing, mate? Good, good. Uh, happy New Year and all that malarkey from us at the Blue Podcast. We got uh, drinks again, as you know. We've actually kind of turned into a drinking podcast the last two, but um, I'm sure we probably won't get as drunk as we were <laughs> on Christmas Eve. I don't know if uh, anyone actually watched it till the end, but I was hammered. How were, were you, right, Ben? I was all right. Yeah, <laughs> you just sipping, <laughs> sipping your brew dog. No, um, Fab and Cam had a uh, sours, so Ew. I was doing swigs of vodka. They're doing swigs of sours. And uh, oh my god! If anyone else knows my my uh, my YouTube history, I don't have. A lot of uh, have a lot of fun memories of Sours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, room after. Yeah, yeah, I was at that stay at the afterwards. <laughs> that that was just you were sober. I was drunk. Yeah, you were you were great. You just <laughs> laid on my sofa, watched Love Island, and ate uh, rice and ketchup. It's great. <laughs> I was quite wank. <laughs> Two bottles of Sours was a lot. Okay, uh, surprised I managed to actually technically finish it. Just. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, you should try and find it online. It's, uh, it's, you can't it's, find it. Yeah, anymore. it's been privated because, you know, it's a bit embarrassing. But I, th- uh, I think the New Year's special, you should put it up for one day only. <laughs> the day it's... Oh, I'll put it on for New Year's Day, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Mm. This, this will be out uh, that, New Year's Eve. Was that on the... Was that, did that used to be on the Macca's channel, or is that yeah. like, on, like, the fifth channel before that one? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was on the Macca's channel. The... Oh. Uh, I had what was it M M A A X X gaming before that. <laughs> the, I did it with Ben Calendar. <laughs> that was fun, uh, and then I made it my own channel. So I like it. I like it because um, we ask questions to all the guests at the end, and uh, about like one of them, I think it's Tom trying to justify him having like twenty million channels because he's like, "Is this the first channel you've had, or have you done other attempts?" And they are always like, "Yep, yeah, this is our first channel." Yeah, and they're all like. <laughs> All at like 2k, 3k. Oh, yeah, this is our first channel. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> yeah, well, I've tried this one, this one, this one, that one, and now this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's been the most successful. Let's say that <laughs> almost, almost at 700 subs now. Um, doing well. We've had a few messages from some quite big well, I messaged some quite big F1 YouTubers so we can get some more F1 guests because we want to kind of keep on expanding that different audience to the football lot. And uh, we've had a couple quite big ones reply, so uh. I won't name names yet, just in case they'd actually never come on. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. Anyway, 2020, not been the best year, let's be honest. A bit of COVID here and there. But yeah, most of you forget, though, started off with wildfires. <laughs> wildfires in America. Mm. All think that was, was that? It was the locusts. Oh, locusts, yeah. But yeah. I thought it was wildfires Bugs. in Australia, wasn't it? Yeah, wasn't it Australia? Yeah, the bushfires. Bushfires in Australia. And they've only just started getting like the wildlife back in, in like the wild again, haven't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I survived. Yeah. Who'd have thought? Feels like <laughs> this fact was about to be the, like in Michael Owen where I was like, it feels like a year ago. And it was, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like in midsummer when you go, Oh crap, the fires were back then. And then actually now we're a year later. Yeah. I was like, Oh yeah, fair enough. It's now a year now. But yeah, yeah. It is what it is. Um, what was your favourite moment, guys, of the the year? I know it was a crap year, but Ben, we'll start with you. As well, well, this, you asked me this question because you wanted to, to talk on the stream later. And I had no <laughs> idea. So I, I, I said it. I said it. To, I've had a thought since, but I said at the time, City winning the League Cup, which is like not not the best moment of the year at all. But I couldn't think of anything. But uh, I think now. I have, to, I have to think about it a bit. It might be City winning that appeal. Oh. That, 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 in terms of football, that would be mine. City winning the appeal early in the year against the Champions League. We, could, we be... could probably mention that later. When, yeah, uh, I think, I, think uh, I will. Yeah, because that was, bloody hell, that was this year as well. That was, yeah. we were kind of just starting the podcast when that was kind of happening and we were kind of talking about it then. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, obviously that, that, frustrating for other teams that you did get away with it. But. Yeah, but that, that was, that was major for us. So, uh, yeah, probably that from, in terms of football. In terms of, like, a personal thing, I can't, I can't think of anything. <laughs> How about you? Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, no, I, that was me. That was me. Yeah. Was me. Um, well, it's been such a great year to start off with, so, so many great <laughs> memories. But uh, I don't know. I'd have to say Chelsea beat him and you, what was it, 3-1 in the FA Cup semi-final? Semi-finals. 
Yeah, yeah, that was a good day. Um, but I don't know, apart from that, maybe disappointing you moving into a uni flat, to be honest. Yeah, nothing else that exciting. Mm. It's been a uh, disappointing for Maybe the transfers doing so well. Well, no, not haven't done well since. Actually, but, I mean, having those transfers was quite quite a big thing. Yeah, the summer itself was probably more exciting than um than the actual. It is now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, from a, I was saying this to Tom before. I'm, even though we're in an alright position, I'm just fed up of it, me. To be honest, because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, when so. Obviously, there's been a COVID outbreak at City now, and I could, I, we're not winning the title now. You can't. It's a winner title. You can't afford to have outside distractions. So last year we had that. To an extent, you had the Champions League ban as being an outside distraction. Obviously, there was problems on the pitch as well, but you can't. You you need to have your full focus on it. And with having this COVID outbreak, I think top four is the best we we can do this year. Um, because we'll have those rescheduled uh, games as well. Mm. Oh, he's just freezing. Ah, well, it's a it's a good point to bring in Millie because she's not really a. Do fo- I have to have a football memory? No, <laughs> you don't have a football. I memory. have a football memory. Go on then. When Frank Lampard, he's still manager, right? Yeah. Yeah, became manager. You know, that was it. But that wasn't even this year. Was it not? No. <laughs> um. Okay, no, then I don't. Just, just something else. Do have to, don't have to be football related. Probably moving to uni then. It's the most exciting thing which happened. Well, yeah, because Millie's been uh, a fresher during this whole COVID thing. What's that been like? Fun. You just move it inside. No, you can't say that. Well, <laughs> you just have because like we have a flat of two flats, so we kind of just chill there. So I actually don't know what I'm missing yet because I've turned 18 and not been to a club, but still. I mean. You've been to a pub? Yeah, but not the same, because it's all like two drinks. We, Millie, we went to Spoons like the day after your birthday. I have never been on a night out. No, you haven't been on a night out. Like a proper one. Yeah. Because of COVID. Mm. What, would you, what would you say, Theo, that um, she would have missed as a, as a fresher this year, if you had to think of something? Um, a lot. <laughs> all the events yeah all the events I, remember no, was... I think mostly the events if you can get stuck in with like sports and um and those societies and stuff like that that's you're, you're not missing too much I, i'd say just like the club nights um don't know to be honest yeah, hockey's been cancelled so. hockey's been cancelled well, like for four weeks and then it's kind of hard to get there and stuff because mm. I'm not at like Leeds, Leeds. Where are you? Where do you play? Well, Leeds Uni have a team which I can play for. Yeah. Leeds Conservatoire doesn't. So. It's like forty minute bus journey or something. Ah, uh, I see. So you need to make friends with someone with a car. Yeah, <laughs> but no one has cars. No, I, I was told by Tom that you could apply for uh, England or something. I said that you were good enough, but you're lazy. Oh <laughs> no, I, I played county a few times. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, Ben was very, Ben played, Ben, uh, he was in the Manchester City Academy. Okay, and cool. he's, he was pretty good. You know, he, he, he plays nah, it off, he know. plays it off lightly. I, 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 so I had, a, I had a trial at City and they had, but they had like 24 players in the team. So they were like, you're not going to get played. So I was like, all right. So then we, I went to Blackburn and I was there for three, four years. Uh, I didn't get a scholarship there and then I went to Oldham and didn't get a scholarship there so I went to college and that was it <laughs> so but yeah I, I was I was alright I was alright <laughs> yeah fair enough, fair enough. Um, actually I just wanted to before we go on has anyone else noticed the quality of sound from Ben and I's side compared to what it used to be a few Christmas presents Ben do you want to show yours first oh yeah that's my cool. yeah, nice. well, you know it's that's actually cool. cooler than yours thank it's you got, like colours your mine's got like an elastic bit so that if I hit the table, it doesn't make a sound. So. Yeah, mine's retro looking though. So. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, beautiful mics, guys. Beautiful. Yeah, awesome. Very much. <laughs> Means so much to us. We, we, we did, there was a comment that said, I mean, it, there's, it was, there was a, two comments by the same geezer. One was like, oh, I really like the video, blah, blah. blah. And then he was like, you need to get microphones. And th- this one's for him. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, it was. he was like, yeah, I really like the content, but. 
could you play me? Please get a better mic. She sound really hollow. So luckily, yeah, Christmas yeah. was around the corner at that point. So yeah. that's that's for you, who if, whoever you are. I've forgotten your name mm-hmm. on, on, it, on. I do I do read the comments. I just crap with names. You get but, comments. Thank you. Do you man. reply to them? Uh, no, I, I, it depends on the depends on the comment. If it's if it's kind of one either asking a question or saying something like that's worth answering, then I will. But if it's just a bunch of emojis, then I'm just gonna like it. Like uh, like Spartan <laughs> Hero, no Spartan Hero who tries to be our first comment every video, which is quite nice. And he always we have puts. A fan. Yes, we have a fan. So shout out to Spartan Hero who tries to comment first for every video. Happy New Year, Spartan Hero. Yeah. There he always go. he always comments what a thumbs up the hundred and then something else. Then. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how was lockdown for you guys because obviously you locked down in spain here didn't you yeah and then yeah. and then ben was in manchester and we were obviously in bournemouth how was it in spain um well you know i want i wanted to stay in the uk a bit longer but uh obviously family and stuff like that so i came out here and uh it was uh, about two weeks further on from the uk so you know, we didn't know not enough about it when I came out, but we thought, oh, yeah, it's a lot better here now. It's going to clear up quicker. And then obviously, you know, it's nice with weather, but uh, yeah, it was long. It was long. But then over the summer, it got a lot better. Socialising got easier. But um, I think, you know, today it's a lot better now, even though there's threats going back into lockdown. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a... It's just better than the UK. I don't know about you guys. Oh, better than the UK. <laughs> Where are you? What's your you in then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think it. I think it's three, but don't uh, don't um, like come to me as a primary source because I, I I don't really follow it anymore. Yeah. We're tier two, yeah. So we can still go pubs and stuff. We're tier two. Right. Uh, all, all, all me and Theo's mates back in Surrey, tier four. They can't do anything. <laughs> but uh, my dad said this joke, but he said uh, it's all ended in tears, hasn't it? Banter. That was shocking. That was really, that shocking. Was really shocking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, oh, it was like it's on the news today that um, it's not about cases have surged again, haven't they? Yeah, well, they were bound to over Christmas and all that. Yeah. But it's, 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 I think it's something like it's worse than uh, the highest levels it was in the first uh, wave or something. So <laughs> lockdown, <laughs> lockdown three is coming next year, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's that new year off really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. No. Well, they, they, they said actually, they said that they might close unis. They said that it's in the conversation. They can't. Okay. Which would be crap because I mean I don't care if there's not um, necessarily face to face. It's just nice to go back to your university with your mates, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think they'll they'll close unis. They might close schools, but colleges, yeah. colleges maybe, but unis. I mean, I mean, they might just think you can do a lot of the uni work uh, remotely, but mm. I don't know. I mean, at the moment, what's the difference as well? Because if they shut down the unis. It's online anyway. I don't really see. Yeah, point, yeah. people will still go back to their houses anyway, won't they? I think it'd be more. It would more be the the freshers if they like if their houses shut. If your if your like accommodation, accommodation isn't opening again, that'd be. Big. Well, some people are in the accommodation over Christmas. Okay, so it's like some people don't have places to go back to, so they won't close accommodation. Hmm. Can, can they not? I mean, well, they can. I don't think so. Is your accommodation good? Fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's many? like literally on top of the uni. How many people you got? Five, and then we've got f- yeah, five. No, four including no, five including me. <laughs> Maths isn't a strong point, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, you do singing. So. so and you're so like, singing. I, I can't heading. do maths. And you were better at English than you were maths. Excuse me, I got a B at GCSE. Maths. Yeah. That's pretty good. I, I got B's in everything. What about you, Tom? Uh, yeah, I got minimum B at GCSE. For everything? Yeah. What did Theo get? Theo, how did you do? I got, um, I did get an A in maths, but I didn't take it A level because yeah. it's just disgusting. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I took it. I got an A maths at GCSE, but uh, you should have taken it. Probably. I messed up A level. Mm. Go see, you know, it is no A level. That's that's horrible. No. Nah. <laughs> In the end, we didn't do A level exams. Yeah, crap. Yeah, this year they didn't do exams. Do you think that uh, they'll, they'll do them like in person will they again this year? I'm not sure. They're worried because um, my friends back at Downside in the upper six are worried that they'll still have to do like predicted grades throughout the whole year. So they're all doing like exams throughout the year so they have enough evidence and stuff. I mean, I I would hate, absolutely hate to be a student, uh, not, not, not necessarily uni, but in school and college at the moment. Because yeah. one, one, they've missed so much work. Two, you've got or you got the stress of obviously the pandemic and stuff, and then you got the exams as well. Mm. And then you having to catch up on work, which is all more stress. I, I'd just be on the floor at the, at the moment. Me, right, but, it's the same at uni though. Uh, this year, at the uni, you're with um, your friends. Yeah, no, but they've um, some of some of my lecturers clearly have just made it up. like. In, in the summer, some exams were they give, given 48 hours to do the exam. This year, this we got the same exam now, but it's four hours. Like, they, they just made it so much harder now because obviously the COVID's happened. They're like, oh, you know, you just go back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we got the same. <laughs> but, what was it saying? Sorry. I don't know. I, I, th I think it's ridiculous about uh, schools as well because you, you got every single exam. Well, you got exams throughout the whole year and you got to treat it like an A level exam, like consistently. The stress that must have on, like, yeah, you know. Uh, but and the, and it's like I was saying, they'll have missed they a missed lot of work. teaching at the end yeah. of the year, yeah. So the, the, they'll, they'll be going to the ex exams being like, we've not actually done this, or they, they've had to self te teach themselves, so they'll be like. I'm not really know this properly. So it's, it's stupid, really. I mean, on the thing about having like made up um, assignments for uni, uh, Kiz had one, uh, his last assignment for Christmas, and he had to make an app, a health app. Yeah. And uh, he was, I was there one, one, a few weeks ago, and I was like, oh, you're free tomorrow. I was like, uh, unless you want to help me with this app, uh, <laughs> nah. So I was like, yeah, I'll help you with that. <laughs> so, so, okay. How did it go, by the way? Sorry? How did it go? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't speak to him about it. Oh, uh, it was all right in the end. So um, he ended up writing it from the GP's perspective instead of the patient perspective. What? Fair enough. Sorry, I'm yeah. really flicking a pen right now on the floor with a feet, which is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah. I remember he, did, he, he had this um, another uh, assignment. And he literally copy and pasted like a hundred pages of code into this Excel spreadsheet, and that was all he had to do. But because obviously a hundred pages of code is just a lot to have to copy over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same with me in one of my uh, modules, which was which is MATLAB, which I hate for anyone else that knows what MATLAB is. And what's you, MATLAB? I don't even know, mate, and I use it. <laughs> uh, you just copy code in that they give you, and you've got to pretend you understand it. That's it. It gives you like yeah. the probability or something. Yeah. Uh, that was that was the time when uh, when I went to kids where we made the Tom McCleave career mode. <laughs> yeah, they, they made me five eleven, which is embarrassing. <laughs> we we were just like whacked in random heights and that. Like, it wasn't like we we're like, oh, he's this height. But he's a he's a deadly striker for Swansea City at the moment. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Scoring goals are fun. Number 10. Number 10. Yeah, that's what I play for uni now as well. Yeah, that's, that's what Kirsten said. He was like, yeah, he's number 10. So, yeah, you know, we've, we've niced you a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, what, what sports have you been doing at uni, Theo? Um, or in general? Or none? <laughs> well, I mean, a bit of tennis out, out in Spain, but uh, mostly gym and then five-side football with my flat. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much standard. Yeah, that is, that is five or so football is very standard for uh, yeah, standard really. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. It's fun. We got a few um little like five side pitches near our flat, which is good. Mm. It gets quite heated, but it's oh, yeah, that's all worth it. I remember, I remember the first year when I first started playing football properly as well. Uh, literally just did five or side, and it gets heated, especially like 
you got some like big blokes in the north who were just like mouthy as shit. <laughs> it just any decision that starts going there against them, they just start mouthing off to the ref, and the ref starts having none of it. We had um, we had one of my teammates got punched in one of the games because he was mouthing off so much, and then <laughs> and then and then he he slid in, which you know you're not allowed to slide in on those five side pitches, and then the whole and one of the guys lost his lost his cool slightly. And both of them were sent off. So it was a it went it went from a five v five five v five game to a four v four game. That was oh very tiring. Twenty five yeah. minutes of four v four is not fun on one of those pitches. No, we we uh, we, I remember me and kids. Uh, I think it was college. Tried to do um, I think it was a seven aside sort of league thing that was at Curzon Ashton down the road from us. And it's like we were there thinking, oh, we're just gonna go down and have like a chill game. Like, turned up and there's every other team are proper tryhards. So after like, it's like two, three weeks, we're like, oh, we've been in this because we're, we're thinking just turn up for a nice game of football, and they're like, like flying in tackles, flying in left, right, and centre, like arguing. So we're just like, can't be asked with it. But yeah, it's very easy to do that because people well, people don't really like care about. Oh, if I hurt this person when they're something. No, well, that's. Yeah. Always frozen. Always frozen. Always frozen. Always frozen. Always frozen. Always frozen. This happens a lot. <laughs> they think, yeah, they think they're like. He's back. He's back. <laughs> yeah, they think they think they're like something at uh, Roy Keane or something like that. Like they think it's like a Champions League final or something. It's like no, you're playing on a crappy like Astro. In Ashton, like it's just, but they think they're like playing the World Cup final, but yeah, like flying, <laughs> flying with tackles like the Roy Keane and stuff. But is it the same in London? Theater? Um, not so much. I mean, one memory that comes straight to mind is uh, five aside at Freshers, and you know, everyone was going out, it's pre COVID, but um, everyone had been out the night before and everyone was just rough the next morning. Mm -hmm. So you get people rotating from goalie to striker and you could literally, you put in like a five minute shift and you just feel ill. And it was like, it was way back in September. So it was like hot and yeah, it was, uh, it was all right. But you got, you got some good like London kids that would come along and they'd oh. all just be like complete poolers. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So it's a bit different, but I guess it's a, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I mean it, the not the, the league we went to wasn't like students and that. It was like an adult league. So you had like these twenty to thirty year old men thinking the messy and oh <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Know. yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, another another story of that is my dad uh, used to play fire side when he was younger, and uh, he's got. Um, so on his foot, you know, like your foot straight like that. He's got a little bump on his foot from when he kicked a bench from being that frustrated in a five side <laughs> match. And, and a beautiful game. Yeah. And didn't realize that he must have like, fractured it or broken it or something, but it's set like when it's a heel, it's set with a bump. So now he's just got a random bump on his foot. Um, <laughs> and he said, he says he can. It, like he says, the general at the time, he didn't really feel the pain, but after he was like, his foot was killing for ages. So, imagine. but it's back in the day where if you like, even if you had like a fractured bone, you wouldn't go hospital. Like, it was just like, oh, I'll run it off, you know. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's uh, it's not, it's not too bad. So, do you get that with hockey as well? What with hockey? Like, do you have like five side yeah. leagues and all that kind of stuff? No, we normally just have like. Well, it's eleven aside normally. Probably have seven aside maybe, but I've not done that. But too much running. Five aside. Well, seven aside is half the pitch. Eleven aside is so much running because it's such a big pitch. But then probably ten. Hmm. How many people just on a football pitch? Eleven. Either side. Yeah. yeah. So it's hockey's pretty much football with sticks. What's that rule? I don't like the rule where you can't Be offside. shoot. Oh. Unless you like the last, if you like the first, last person. What? Yeah, that's offside. Yeah. So you can't, offside rule that one. Yeah, if you I wouldn't be able past, to play with that. If you're you got the last defender, and you're closer to the goal. Yeah. Than them, then you're offside. 
because you can't shoot. You can't so you shoot can't anywhere. One of the things like there's the defender and you like. Yeah, right, so the, the, you can do that. Yeah, you can skill yeah. drive really. You can do a little flip flap, little little roulette, little knock and go. But then, <laughs> then you're offside. No, you're, you're not because you've got possession no. of the ball. If you get the ball past, if you get so. The defenders you hit. can't be passed. Ball's there. Ball. If you're there, you yeah, can't, you can't receive the, the ball. ball. You can't receive the ball past the defender. But you can like dribble it. Yeah, if you haven't yeah. got possession of the ball, you, okay. you're off, you're, if you receive the ball and you're closer to the goal than the defender when the ball's passed, okay. that's when you're offside. Yeah. You can pick up the ball anywhere on the pitch and run past all the defenders. But then why doesn't hockey have Because I guess it doesn't give you as much an advantage in hockey, maybe. Does it? I don't know. Can you I... go have in hockey then? Yeah. Like. Is that that's you know, probably... like two like what are they called? I can't even remember. I haven't played hockey that long. Like the corners of the goal, people can stand there and then you just pass the ball down and they just pick it so up. So is, is that like a natural tactic then? Like just have goal hangers. They're called goal hangers. I don't think they're meant to. But... Nah. Were you a goal hanger? No. Because you were you were a centre forward, weren't you? Yeah, I always no, but I always stayed behind the halfway line, waiting, and I sometimes got long passes past all the defenders. And you don't answer it in school. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> same, same here. Same here. I just, just get past the ball all the time, bang it to all the ends of the Always getting the ball. Mm. Haven't missed yet. <laughs> uh, uh, should we do the quiz now? Yeah. The New Year's quiz. Yeah. I'm actually fail. Let's do a New Year's quiz. But it's about. What's the quiz on? The, the, the podcast. So, have you watched any of them? So, we're going to be really, really happy. Oh, plenty, plenty. Um, I have watched zero. What are you bad, bad there, Manny? I'm a very supportive sister. Yeah. We're going to be really, really hurt if you get all these wrong. Yeah, yeah I've been studying all day. I've watched. No. Have you watched any? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, like, if you get it wrong, uh, every, everyone who's watching, uh, do play along. Uh, Get a pen and paper, Same. play along. It's a multiple choice, like the Christmas Christmas one. I, I can see thought. the last. That's, that's a different page. Is it? That's, that's, what? that's a Christmas special one. Anyway. Um, it? It's the Blue Podcast New Year's Eve quiz. Play along, let us know how you do in the comments. No one did last time, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, no. What is this? Um, Max, is, this, is it trivia or is it... Uh, on the podcast. Yes, yeah, like trivia on the podcast. On the podcast. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so basically, here we go. Question one, it's a pretty simple one if you know Ben. Uh, who does Ben support? Is it A, Leicester, B, Chelsea, or C, Manchester City? Oh, I know that one. So A, Leicester, B, Chelsea, or C, Manchester City? All right, Ben, go ahead. Yeah. Who was our first official guest? A, Kieran, B, Tom's dad, C, Moto Maker. Who's Moto Meerkat? John. John. Ratters. But I swear you used to do them with Kieran before Ben. We aren't, we aren't giving you any... So um, how do I know who the first ben. guest ben, was? Ben's always been in there from the start. Oh, so then... Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Can't you've done this. <laughs> Question three. Which team did Tom back to surprisingly do well this season? Was it A, Aston Villa, B, Everton, or C, Leeds? Oh, was, Leeds. Was it A, Aston Villa, B, okay. Everton, or C, Leeds? Everton's written really questionably on this. Everton, I lost 3-1. Who did Leeds beat, which was surprising? I don't think they, they haven't actually beaten a big team yet, have they? They just smashed uh, West Brompton, yeah. didn't they? Oh, what, no, what, was Leeds... the score? what was the final score for that? 5-0, uh, was it? 5-0, yeah. Leeds were winning against Chelsea at one point. Yeah, they won one. They were winning 1-0 in I the first 10 minutes. I came in at that point minutes. and yeah. I saw that Leeds were winning. They were at one point. All right, question four. Ben has lost, lost the question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how many F1 guests have we had on? A3, B6, C4. Not that popular to get six. How many videos have you done? Yeah, no way you've got six. You'd be yeah. in an F1 channel. Wait, how many? <laughs> how many was it? Six, four, or three? Yeah, so yeah. Want to read them out? I that. Uh, A three, B six, C four. Wait, so wait, how are we gonna? 
So we will mark it at the end. And then how many questions you get wrong, you have goals. <laughs> how many questions are there? Seven, that's fine. There's only seven. And you guys have got to beat Fab and Cam, who had a different quiz, but very similar. And they got, Fab got three out of seven and Cam got four out of seven. Yeah, Cam did a lot better on the quiz than on Kahoot, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and he got, did he get zero? He got zero. <laughs> he got zero on one of the Kahoots. We did. Uh, I actually just, smashed that Kahoot. I'm not going to lie. You, you did very well. I, I replayed that for my dad. I was like, watch this. <laughs> 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 it's so good. <laughs> you did do very well, unfortunately. Uh, There's only seven questions. Yeah. Question five, which video has the most views out of these ones? Not the most viewed video, but which one has the most views? Out of what one? Out of the four I'm about to read out. Why oh was the most viewed? I know that one. Yeah, well, that's because we asked it in our last quiz. We can't ask the same questions twice. I didn't watch your last video. Yeah, well, which you know, just, it was, it's just in case. Well, it's not that one then, yeah. Question five, which video has the most views? Are Premier League players of the season, which was A, B, best Premier League 11 in 1920 season so far, C, England all-time 11, or D, current best 11? I don't know the difference between... Sorry, current best England 11. That was D. Do you want me to read them out again? I'm just going to put C down. <laughs> what, you good, Theo? I'm, I'm, I'm smashing this. You um, know the answers. You're smashing it, okay. Yeah. All right, Ben, you'll go. <clears throat> there we go. Which is our longest video? A, the Christmas special. B, the sisters podcast. C, chatting with Moto Meerkat. Which one was what? The most views. Which one's the, the longest? A, the Christmas oh, special. Oh, I know this one. B, the sisters podcast. C, chatting with Moto Meerkat. You don't know. Yeah, I no, know I this one. Okay, okay. Well, I think, because okay. you told me. Did I? Today. I know. <laughs> uh, well last but not least question seven which video has the most comments is it a chatting with comics by perch b chatting with simon mcleave or c the history of manchester city is it a chatting with comics by perch b chatting with simon mcleave or c the history of manchester city i got it everyone got it everyone got their answers i wouldn't count the comments anyway but yeah <laughs> no, I, was, I, I was comments? scraping the barrel there, Theo. I was trying to throw yeah. a <laughs> You should be cutting and knowing those questions are going to come up. You should be going through should remembering like, you know, comments. You should, uh, Theo, should have that insight, you know? Well, I, 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 could, I, could, I could do that. that. Good one. I could do, we could do that later, just off the top of my head. What's that? I'll win there. Uh, who knows me better, Theo or Millie? Oh, okay, I'll yeah, do that. I'll do, do that later. I'll, 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 I'll be a spectator because I'll be a spectator. 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 i will be a spectator i will and Millie? What was C? Manchester City. Yeah, I put that one. All right, well, both yeah. got it right. I wrote I Manchester City. That's it. I got. Uh, with an E-H. Sith. Well, it's because it's the blue, the blue podcast. Well, Leicester and Chelsea are both blue. Oh, yeah. Well, then be called the Chelsea podcast if you also like Chelsea. Oh, no. It was just interesting. Just, it, was just, it was just a good starting point, I thought, for the, podcast, for the, for the quiz. You know. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Tom. <laughs> Right, ben, do you want to do the next one? Oh, sorry. All right. I thought you just did him all last time. No, yes. well, we took it in turns, I'm pretty sure. All right. Well, uh, for the, who was like, the first official guest was B, Tom's dad. Oh. He was on there way no, before. No, he was a host at first, and then he became one of his guests later. Who, Kieran? Yeah, he no. was a host first, and then he came on as a guest later. Nah. I don't know about that one. I don't, I, he, was, he was on our first two or three videos as a host. And then, he, a, left. He, was the and then he came on for our five subscriber special as a guest. Oh, that's shit. a bit of a technicality. And I remember when it first started, Kieran was on it. So I'm going to give myself a tip. No, no, it's just, <laughs> just, I'll be Theo it's, 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 it's just a glug. Fab, Fab and Cam both did a glug for that as well. So. <laughs> uh, question three. Uh, what did you put down, Theo? Which team did Tom back to surprisingly do well? Wait, this no, I want to change my answer. 
Because no. we talked about how Leeds did badly and not won a match. No, you've, really, you've, you've written so, down your answers, Millie. You've written down then, your answers, Millie. You've written your answer. All right, Theo, who did you put down? I put B, Everton. Where did I? You put uh, C, Leeds. Well, in fact, it was actually Aston Villa. Villa. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, this is a PC channel. Take this too seriously now. Censored <laughs> channel. No, it's not censored. I know. We've had, we've had, uh, we had an American. Oh, it was so funny. So the people were going on a stream tonight uh, with they, they, they. One of them swore. And they went, oh crap, we like to swear on this. Was yeah, like, I know. We we're like, yeah, it's fine. It's just, it's just like, oh, fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Just... All right, question four. Three. Three, four. My answer is three. Oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, the answer is C for Everton. <gasps> How did you? Fucking A. I've All got right. one right so far. All right, question five. Which video has the most views? What did you put down, Theo? Um, I put A. Well, our Premier League players of the season. I put C. England all time eleven. All time eleven. Well, in fact, was England all time eleven? You actually oh. picked our, so I put in that our was... lowest viewed video uh, ever, Theo, and that was the one. But, but can I just say, <laughs> that's that's what I, remember most. Where I just went, I'm going to put C, yeah, not knowing what it was. Yeah, I know. That's why I, I, I laughed when you did that. So. <laughs> yeah, so we had uh, our Premier League players of the season had 45 views. It's actually our worst viewed video. Uh, yeah. Best Premier League 11 in 2020 season so far was 102. England all time 11 was 129. And current best England 11 was 91. Fine wow. margins. Right, question six. Was there a Premier League player of the season? Was there, was there our Premier League players of the season quite early on? Hmm. That was our second video. Was it? <laughs> Actually, no, no, it wasn't. It was when we had that dip. You know, we, we, we kind of we had those two videos that did well, the first two, and then we kind of just had that that dip, and then we kind of came back a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, which is our longest video? The answer was A, the Christmas special. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Got it right. Because this t today you went, I was like, how long is this going to be? And you went, well, the last one went off for two hours and 50 minutes. And I was like, the Christmas special. <laughs> Did you not get that one right here? No, nah, I would have thought John would have been nattering away about uh, F1. I mean, that, that, that's the, the longest sort of um, guest, guest from outside the family one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay, well, okay. Apart, well, apart from Fab and Cap, you get in the bank. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, was a, <laughs> that, that was a Christmas special, so it's yeah, it's true. It's it's separate. Separate. Yeah, of, yeah. yeah, chatting with Moto Mika was one hour and fifty-seven. The sisters' podcast was two hour and one minute. So, which one was the Christmas number? special? Was two hours and fifty-one. Wait, so you're right. No, wait. What was question seven? We haven't done question seven yet. I was just uh, letting you know how long they were. So confused. Question oh. seven: Which video has the most comments? Which one did you put there? Uh, C. I A. Millie got it correct. It was chatting the comics by Perch with 11 comments. Millie knows all the answers. He told her. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I only got, Millie got four. four. Okay, you got a respect. What did you get there? I got three, but uh, I gave myself a mark on one of them. So, uh, we actually got two. And he's actually watched them. So <laughs> I oh, no. Yeah, Why? I'm in. That's five gulps for Theo and three <laughs> gulps for Millie. Well, do let us know anyone who's watched this into this part. Oh, if you, he, were... he went for that. Yeah, we'll go for it, Millie. You, you, you tell me all the time that you can drink. That was... That was, that was three sips. Gold. I said gulps. Gulps, come on. <laughs> That's it. That's better. That's better. I'm actually almost out of beer. That's really gross. Uh, all right, well, uh, finish that quiz. I'm going to quickly get make myself a drink, and then you guys can chat between yourselves for a second yeah, if you want. Hi, hi. Go on, Ben. Lead it. You're you're a host. Oh, have I got to lead it now. Oh. Yeah, you got to lead it. No lead host. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so what what year do you go, Theo? I I'm at King's in London. Right. Yeah. What's what, what subject do you do? So I'm doing film. Uh, it's not the most academic, but you know. Yeah. I'm doing music. So doesn't win. Is music uh, more? Music is more. We do like essays and stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, stuff. There's a bit, there's a bit quite academic. academic. Music yeah. is more academic than I thought it would be. Yeah, there's a bit of academia in there. No, it's uh, it's good. So is real. that real? <laughs> so is that what, like what you actually want to go into? Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully into the film industry, but um, keeping options open at the moment about whereabouts. 
but yeah. Mm. What about you? What are you studying? Uh, I, I was I was studying um, sports science at Man Met, but realised I didn't like it, so I binned it off. <laughs> oh really? Uh, yeah, like last year, I just couldn't be out of it. So I I've started doing a course in counselling uh, skills, so to become a counsellor because I quite like the psychology part oh. of uh, the the sports science course. So see how that goes. That's quite interesting. Yeah. It's all about what, um, so sort of the mentality of sports players, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, sharp. yeah. So if I, so in in the sports science course, like obviously it was about sort of how different personality types can affect different, um, like the confidence of players with different situations, stuff like that. So I thought, I'd give because obviously the, the counselling course that I've done isn't sports specific, but that I can go on to do that. If uh, if I push it, so that's, interesting. that's really cool. Yeah, so it's, I'm just it's basically I, I don't really know what I wanted to do, so I'm just trying stuff out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. See how it goes. Yeah. You back then, Tom? Yeah, I'm back. I just made myself some vodka orange. It's very nice. Oh, um, I want to ask you guys what you're looking for. I'm gonna just quickly think up some questions for the who knows me better, my best mate, my, my sister, or my co-host quiz. It's uh, not just your co-host. No, that's what I said. It's just a best friend, sister, and co-host. That's not what I said. I said he's not just co-host. No, but it's just for the title. He's also one of my best mates. Give me the pen. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was going to ask you, what you guys are looking for in the in the new year? Looking forward to in the new year? We'll start with Ben, and then we can work through. I'm looking forward to? Blues. I would say being actually able to live, but... Uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen, so. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, what, do you, what do you expect him to say? Like, oh, well, I'm going to... Anything you're looking forward to? Uh, Summer. Tra- Travelling, if we're allowed to. Let's say that. Where, to? Would, Where do you want to go? I wouldn't mind going to uh, Santorini. Ooh. Oh, looks nice. Uh, then the other one is Maldives, but that's like a, you know, <laughs> that's, an asp- that's an aspiration. That one. <laughs> um, but yeah, more well, Sansarini. Uh, how, about, how about you, Tim? What are you looking forward to next year? Um, I don't know. I'd say, I don't know. It's not really an actual thing, but maybe the curse of 2020 to be lifted. <laughs> see if that actually changes anything. But. Um, I don't know. I reckon it won't be as, as much of a shit show. Touch touch wood. Touch wood. I don't want to curse anything. Don't want to jinx it. But <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe maybe it's looking a bit brighter. Maybe um, with the vaccine as well. Hopefully. Well, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure they can adapt it for whatever. Yeah, well, comes that way to play garden. But yeah, <laughs> this thing about the the new variant, isn't there? But the and but the saying that the vaccine will cover it. So I don't know why there's so much hysteria over it if the vaccine will cover it like, yeah I, I don't know i think personally uh, um sort of blaming you know tier four on the new on the new covid strain so it takes a bit of heat off the government mm. i don't know maybe it's, well, it's, more, it's more difficult during winter yeah so, uh, well, i think they were always going to implement tier fours at some point because it's because also tier four is so much better than saying you're in lockdown Tier like four mentally. is basically lockdown. It's basically lockdown, but it's yeah, it's lockdown. lockdown. They're just they're just coming just, up with interesting names for it. It's, it's like, just oh, lockdown. But... Yeah. Actually, eventually it'll be like tier ten of like yeah, so you can still like go for a walk, but that's it. <laughs> like, <that'll be> like... <laughs> you can you can step out the house for five <laughs> seconds and then you have to go back inside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Only brief brief word. That was a joke. Wasn't it? Okay. Well, uh, what are you looking forward to next year, Spoons? Sorry, Middy. I shouldn't call you that. Spoons? Yeah. Why is money called spoons? There's no real reason. There is a reason. Well, There's not... a whole track towards it. Well, yeah, well, Mil- we called her Mills and Spoon. No. We- was it Mills and Boone? Dad used to call me Mills and Boone after a store. Yeah, there was a, there's a, call- there's a store called Mills and Boone. Mills and Boone. And so it then got changed to Mills and Spoon, and I just changed it to Spoons. That's, that's literally it. It's not very, very interesting. interesting. And it, it, just, it, just caught, oh. it just caught for some reason. So that's it. What's your nickname, Tom? I've got one. Maccas. 
Uh, there's plenty. There's plenty. Yeah. There's plenty of great ones. Yeah. He's yeah. uh, he's been pushing the Macca's nickname for a while now. I didn't even come up with it. Who it did? was uh, it was Matt that came up with it. Matt Stanley. Oh. He was the first uh, creator of the Macca's name back at school. Mm. The dad used to be called Macca's. No, he didn't. I swear he did. Uh, also, I've also been called the cleavage. Uh, <laughs> that, that was a good one. That, that's well, Mook, it's like Mook, leave me alone. My private on Instagram is called Mook underscore leave. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. You should Mook leave. But what are you looking forward to next year? Um, um, <laughs> Travelling in the summer. Where to do? Come on. I, I'm, I'm drawing blood from a stone here, Mills. Come on. Um... Well, I'm traveling to Austria, probably, to see my friend, Christina, and Spain, maybe, to see my other friends, and then, where else do I have friends? I don't know. <laughs> where else do I have friends? Well, like, Spain and Austria, and then I want to see my friend Wiki, who lives in Poland, but I don't know. She'd probably come, she'd, like, go to school, boarding school in England, so. Because I haven't been able to see any of my friends, because they're all not going to the same uni as me. Mm. I saw much to see Theo. When? In the summer. No, this is next year, like, since COVID, that uh, probably uh, hit. Okay, okay. Also, yeah. does everyone like my uh, Christmas present from my girlfriend? Oh, uh, represent. Love it. Yeah. Ben's probably yeah. not as much of a fan. <laughs> wait, where does... Wait, where does... Wait, where does... I didn't know Theo had moved to Spain. How do you not know he moved to Spain? I didn't know he moved to Spain. Shocking behaviour. I came back and someone went, he's in Spain. I was like, in his fat like, holiday flown, home. I've literally flown to his house twice. But it's like, did it happen after I went to boarding school? The year I, uh, yes, yes, it did. The year you, you, you went to boarding school. Yeah, because then I. But do you not realise when I, I disappeared twice for a, a week? Yeah, that I, I thought was... you were going with him to Spain, like to his maybe holiday home in Spain or something. I didn't know he actually lived there. No, it's his family moved there, isn't it? So your brother goes to school in Spain? Yeah, yeah, he does. He still doesn't speak Spanish, though. It's quite... <laughs> how does he find it? How does he find it? I think he likes it. He likes it a lot. Um, it's a bit different to where we grew up because everyone's a lot closer together. So you can almost like walk to your mate's houses and stuff like that, which is really good. But um, yeah, he's loving it at the moment. But he's, he's, doing, he's doing IB instead of A-level, so it's getting, it's getting pretty intense. Oh, yeah. How, How old, old is he now? Jinx. Jinx. He's he's sixteen now. And how old. is he sixteen? How did he? Okay. How? <laughs> he's he doesn't. Two look, years he, younger he's, than he's me. He's like a, he's like Theo, but just younger looking. Less facial hair. <laughs> a lot bigger though. He's been yeah. He's a unit now. Ah, uh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> we, we used to be the units Theo. They look at us now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to. You never used to be a unit. Hey, 85 kilograms, six foot one and a half. That's it's not small. Uh, that, Tom, Tom's a bit of a, a gym lad, you know, isn't he? Uh, he like, I, I had like, 90 kilograms in March and then COVID. I like uh, the, uh, the gym match. Uh, yeah. he, 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 he is probably bigger than me in terms of like looks and muscle wise. No, it's it's basically just all beers now. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I agree. Yeah. Uh, although I have, um, so since, when did I get here? Mid mid December, since mid December, I've now run thirty kilometers in total in, in my runs. Wow! See, that's exactly. disgusting. Like, if gyms aren't open, I won't do anything. Yeah, well, no, that's because um, I I said I. No idea. You were home before me. You were home. So like, three weeks, four weeks. You were home like the yeah, it was three weeks. Ago. What's four times fourteen? Four times. You do maths. Yeah, I do. Fourteen, fifty-six. Fifty-six. What are you this is me doing right math. I did 28 20k bike rides. Not them 28 20k bike. I haven't done a, a 20k bike ride every day. Every other day. How old did? Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't done it every other day. What about Christmas and what? <laughs> but yeah, no. I uh, I set my my football team at uni. I set them a challenge of who can run the furthest distance uh, this holiday. And one of the lads run a hundred run a hundred k before Christmas. What? Yep. Hundred k. Hundred k before Christmas in total. Huh? 
so, that's not possible. So shout out to Gregory. Oh, over over like you know a few runs. Yeah, but still, oh, yeah. you're running like minimum eight k a day, minimum. and you do obviously like ten twelves or something. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> it was a bit bad, and yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm not getting that first place at thirty now. Um, <laughs> let's be honest. It's been good though because we we've got uh, like seventeen people who run so far out of a twenty man squad, twenty twenty one man squad. Um, we got we more people have said they're in the new years when they're going to start doing it. So. Spinkers, spinkers. Keep the fitness up so my team don't come catch potatoes during the, uh, the Christmas period. Come back fat, and then we uh, lose our first game of the season. I would not. Yeah, I was going to say, I, th- I would have thought that uh, that Chelsea cup would have been smashed on Boxing Day. What do you mean? Ooh. Oh, what the three-one? Oh, he brings, he brings it up. He brings it up. He brings it up. Oh, he's been dying to bring up. You can tell. Me and you are Chelsea fans, so. Uh, yeah, sorry. Like, yeah, I guess Rudy's a Chelsea fan. Cool. That was, that I, I was, was, cool. I was just oh, like, I blanked out that conversation, and then I was like, right, here's my chance. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was hard to watch, man. Hard to watch. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. could you talk uh, talk about whilst I'm trying to figure out this, and then uh, I'll, 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 I'll then once I've got, I'll just do two more questions, and then I'll uh, oh, I'll have yeah, my rant. Like, I might get oh. flashbacks if I talk about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like PTSD, but. Uh, well, personally, I don't think the first goal was a penalty anyway. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> firstly, Mount, Mount hit the Mount hit the post in the first five minutes. If that goes in, different story altogether. That yeah, but you can't, you can't you can't say that because like he didn't he didn't get it in. I know, I know, but but that's saying this this game was was actually like as much as we weren't good enough and we did lose three one. It was a game of fine margins. Mount, if Mount's goal was slightly to the left, that's in. If the VAR had turned over the penalty, that's still nil-nil. Yes, they had the momentum, but still could have been a different game. Um, I'd say the only thing is Xhaka's goal we couldn't really prevent. That was just mm. magic out of nowhere. Me, to do it for you. And I, me and Dad were laughing at, um, like, I saw him on the team sheet and we actually laughed, like, oh, great, Xhaka's playing. They're going to be on 10 men after 15 minutes or something. <laughs> and then he pulls out that. It's just, ah, oh, sort of law, whatever. Yeah, you were saying that there was, um, it was quite quiet in the room. <laughs> when you're watching that yeah it, so yeah. It, it didn't go very well the one, the one thing I would say though is Saka's goal was not a chip it was a cross no, it was a cross, it was it was a cross because he, he looks up to see as well <laughs> but it's a, to have the the the, uh, the balls to be like yeah it was a chip I saw what the keeper was like, oh yeah like, was like, was... Some sort of, like world class ball it was just like yeah it's loaded, loaded, loaded dosh. I was, <laughs> I was watching a video of like the post match um, on Twitter, and it was like, I think it was Saka, um, Maitland Niles, and Tammy, and they're all talking. It's all from that like, same generation of like England youth players, as well. Mm. And um, uh, Saka was like chatting, all chatting bollocks, being like, oh, yeah, yeah, I meant it, I meant it. And you can tell Tammy is just so pissed off. He's just like, <laughs> oh, no, you, didn't, you didn't fucking mean it. You, you can literally read his lips. <laughs> like, you didn't fucking mean it. Shut up. <laughs> He's so angry about I it. I saw that on a sport Bible. Yeah. Like, he was absolutely fuming. Um, no, I'd be too. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, fair to say that I was quite happy that United dropped points against uh, Leicester. Oh yeah. yeah, definitely. Me and Ben have said so many times we really want United not to do well. So yeah. might have to really pause this podcast because Millie has somehow well might try to see if you can manage your space and get rid of something whilst whilst they talk. Because hmm? we can still have this recording in the background. So it moved away, I don't know. Oh, Millie. I think it's recording. It is, but it is recording, yeah. How have you not got enough space on your laptop? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah we, 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 all the excuses aside, it was a game of fine margins, but we weren't good enough during the game. Yeah. Well, Jorginho should have put away the pen. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it would have made a difference. It might have been too late. But um, yeah. I was, I was uh, on a um, pro clubs with some of my mates, uh, and uh, I think, it, yeah, all three of them are United fans. Um, oh, God. But, and the two of them one, weren't asked at all. But I got an absolute earful of of uh, one of them about how basically I I got I got the sense that because United are a point ahead of us now, 
like suddenly he was piping up. Um, and uh, so probably he was letting it all out because he's not been able to do it for a while. I might have just got that completely wrong, but that's what it felt like. Um, it must have been the first time in years for Man U, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably sweet. Yeah. And um, yeah, so he was like, yeah, I think, think uh, City are a, a club in crisis. I was like, huh? I think it's like, um, uh, there's something seriously wrong with that club. I was like, huh? Huh? And he's like, Guardiola's only made one good sign in Kyle Walker. I was like, what? Like, uh, <laughs> but my was blowing like. Yeah, yeah. No, I was, so I was, I was on the um, stream yesterday on Rick Sports, and and so it, it was supposed to be a, a Premier League um, chat, uh, and then it turns out uh, <laughs> it was supposed to be a Premier League chat, and then it ended up being me and five other United fans. Which was good fun. Uh, <laughs> so I, I did. I was kind of swarmed for that, like just just by United people saying how good. Well, it, it was actually it was quite it was quite interesting. I did enjoy it because actually there were United fans with different opinions, obviously. Yeah. And obviously, I was I was throwing my my little kind of um, my non-United fan questions at them, like, oh, but what about this and then what about that? And then they were saying that Solskjaer is the best. <clears throat> Solskjaer's the best um, best manager at working the United board and all this stuff. And then oh, it was, there was a lot. I'm gonna, it was very late. It got so I was promised one hour, uh, as, as I told Ben. I said, uh, "Do you want to come on?" And then uh, two and a half hours later, when I've been up for like sixteen hours, I was, uh, I was falling asleep whilst on the stream. I, I woke up. I woke up at like two, and I was like. Was there a message from Tom? He's like, "Yeah, I was told an hour stream just finished." I was like, <laughs> "What?" But I did. I did watch a little bit of it, like after the, after it had finished, just to see how I, I gander. Like how, how did you find it? How did you find it? Uh, it's like uh, Rich Sports, is it called? Rick Sports, yeah. Rick Sports. Rick Sports. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone to a podcast once or twice as a. As a viewer before in the live streams, it's been. Oh brilliant. yeah, that was funny. That was the first time we were on, <laughs> Ben was the only other person on there that realised that you were my mate. Yeah, <laughs> I think was it. I can't remember if it was you. It was like this Tom McLeaver's quality punditry. That was Tim. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all he said is like, oh yeah, I think Chelsea that they're doing all right. Blah blah. I was like, fantastic. Like that is the Man, best that's insight. <laughs> That's enough for me. That's <laughs> <really> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> yeah. Tim came in yesterday as well, and all he put in the comments was hairlines because I mean Rick's not got much hair. A couple of others didn't have the best hairlines, so all he literally put in the comments was hairlines, and that was it. And then he left. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone else saw it, but I was just talking to myself. Uh, uh, shout out to Tim for that. But uh, so, yeah. This, yeah. We, we, that we're expand- we're, we're finally getting into other channels, aren't we now, Ben? Yeah. Uh, We've had plenty on. We're finally getting onto other channels, which is nice. Yeah. We've got a stream today. Yeah. Been on two streams. We're all, we were on that. Um, that, that we, we we featured on someone's first video on their channel, and they just haven't uploaded. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was probably going to kick on with that, but he's just... yeah, because so, he's he was, he'd been talking about it for a while, and he was on our uh, our what was it top four debate, which I did, which yeah. our most viewed video. He was in that, yeah, and then. But I mean, the bits, the, yeah, the bits that I did see of that stream, um, it was it was funny because I think some of them need a ladder to climb out of Ellie's ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so they just they love him that much. But I mean, I think was it the American one? He was getting absolutely slated for being like uh, saying Pochettino's a better coach than. Oh Ali. yeah, no, I was agree- I was trying to agree with him, but yeah, yeah, I think I think that's right. But he was getting absolutely like destroyed for saying it mm. um, he, he was he was good he was very honest and like actually not bi- too biased with what he said which i thought was good yeah yeah they're, blo- they're, they're blowing a lot of smoke up uh all these arse at the moment. <laughs> I, I think it's ridiculous he's got a norwegian side relegated no cardiff relegated not done well in norway and they think he's the next best manager it's like he's not gonna win you trophies I'm not saying that he's not done a good job, but like to say you can't see him winning the prem though. No, to say that he's better than Potch is just mm. yeah, that's silly. questionable. No, um, I, I liked what uh, Sean, who was the American, he he said, like I'm saying, I want 
I want Solskjaer to be that, man, that coach slash manager who wins us trophies and wins us the Premier League. I'm, I'm all for it. If he wins us, if, I'm, I'm a pro. I'm pro him if he wins something brilliant. But really, he's the manager that's just settling the boat for when a bigger, better manager can come in. That's mm. that's which is true. Yeah, and he's probably trying to weasel the. The, the board who are shocking, the United board are absolutely shocking, mm. uh, just to try and maybe ease them for when they... Yeah. It's like, like loosen, <laughs> loosening them for when a bigger, better manager comes in. That was a bit yeah. of an innuendo there, but... You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you get that? Okay, good. Uh, um, I think, I think that's the beer, beer and vodka talking right there. Yeah. Uh, that's gone over um, me too. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I think... Um, Did you get it now? Yeah. I don't no. want to get it. I don't care. <laughs> not wanting to get it. Um, I think it, that. Yeah, credit credit to them though that the, their recent, more recent signings obviously have been better, and even even with like the so obviously the major one is Bruno Fernandez, who's best player in the world now, obviously. Um, <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> been serious for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, Ben, ben uh, does not does not agree that Bruno's better than De Bruyne. No, no neither well, do I. Mean, I. I mean, well. there's arguments about current form. Yeah, but, but as a as a as a player, De Bruyne's so much better. But I mean, even even current. Um, oh. I'm back. He's I'm back. back. Yeah, he's back. He's back. I'm back. I'm back. Yes. Yeah. Back. Yeah. So what was it? What was I saying about De Bruyne? Yeah, you said something about yeah. De Bruyne. So I think, yeah. So so even though know, De Bruyne, he's not even playing that bad. It's just because he set such high standards for himself. That's why it's looking like he's playing poorly. But yeah, Bruno Fernandez, best player to play in the Premier League ever, and all that stuff. So I better not say anything. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the what's the Mourinho um, what's the Mourinho quote that you often do? If I, speak. I, prefer, I prefer not to speak. If I speak, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> do you think uh, Mourinho's done well at uh, Spurs? Because I mean, uh, me and Millie's mum's dad, who's a Spurs fan, is he. So after they drew to the balls, wasn't it? And they, they scored in the first five minutes and then parked the bus for 85. He was like, this is not what I want to watch. This, is, this isn't the, the team I want to watch. Mm. You know what at I mean? The end the, I mean, at the end of the day, though, if, you, if you're a Spurs fan, you've been through that much suffering, I'd watch shit football. Well, not shit football, boring football, to see Spurs win something. Like, it's oh, very yeah. defensive. That's you know, it. classic park the bus. But at the end of the day, like you'll watch it for a few goals and you won't lose. And yeah. he will win them. He'll win them the Europa. I hope. Well, like I want Jose to win it. I don't want Spurs to win it. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I think um, that's exactly what uh, is it? Fuad was saying he was like, "I'll take boring football for a trophy any day of the week." At the moment, so yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it, they've obviously gone off the off the the boil a little bit. Off the rails a little bit, but I, I think they'll still have a decent season. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think I think Son and Kane are brilliant as well. Oh, oh fantastic! Let's see. It's yeah. the fact that the Bale's on the bench every game is just what like that says something, it, isn't it? Yeah, it says a lot. Yeah, actually, this this is a, another thing that um, another United fan said. It was like it, it was um, one of my mate's girlfriends who's a United fan. He's a United fan as well. For some reason, I have a lot of United fan friends. Maybe because um, you're in Manchester, mate. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> Kieran's the only like ma like mate that is a City fan for some reason. Anyway, so she was like, "So if the season ended now, who would you give the Player of the Year to, Kane or so uh, Kane or Bruno?" Basically, sure. saying, give it to Bruno. Um, and I was like, "Probably, I would give it Kane," because then she said, "Well, he's got three more goal involvements than Bruno, Son, everyone." It. So surely that means that Kane will get it. So I, I, I couldn't. I can't see. I get that. Obviously, it's affected that team so much, but I think it's because they were they were missing that person 
like that creative person that much is the reason yeah, why it's made such a difference. It's because their their squad is is good. It's just they just they just missed the number ten. That's what that's yeah. literally what they needed. They have they have the the players around the number ten. They just never had that number ten for about five six seasons. Now they've got it. Obviously, their team does really well. Yeah, and Rashford's is, in the top form as well. Rashford's oh, sure. doing well. I, I even honestly. Yeah, he, he does really good work as well, and you really don't want to like him because he's a United player from from the youth academy. But you kind of have to. Yeah, even a City fan, I think his quality. He, he gets actually quite a bit of stick from United fans, and I don't understand why. Really? Um, yeah. He did miss a sitter against Leicester first. First. Yeah, but then, then he went and smacked another one in. So True. Uh, it, it swings around about players miss chances all the time. Yeah. Um, Look at Werner, for example. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I saw this other stat about Bruno and uh, it was like he's had uh, he scored 20 odd goals in the Prem 17 of them have been penalties so for a player to play for the player who scored that many goals and a percentage of those that are penalties that's the highest for any player to play in the Premier League ever now I'm not I'm, I think he's a quality player but I think that kind of show nuts yeah. Although to be fair to Leicester, um, they've won ten penalties this season compared to United's five. Yeah, so we'll just forget everything about last season. <laughs> <laughs> no, last, no season, last season. Last season was a joke. Yeah. No, last last season. Season. Okay, but that, that's maybe doesn't know anything about football. But oh, who, who's do. who's better? Who's better? Okay. Who's better? Harry Kane, Bruno Fernandes, or Kevin De Bruyne? <laughs> I only know one. Which one? The Kane one. So so pick pick yours. Harry Kane. <laughs> the only the Spurs player, player, of course, brilliant. Isn't he the one who's captain? <laughs> captain, that's the one. No, not a bad player. He's no. not a bad player. He's probably he's all right. But he does the job. <laughs> Would you say he's going to be one of the Premier League's greatest though? In stra- in- he, already, he already is. Really. I mean, so, if, if he keeps it up, then definitely. Yeah, he, I mean, he's scored really the most. Uh, you know, North London derby goals. Yeah. yeah. I think he's, uh, he's still got a good three years, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. I think he'll, he's, he's yeah the only play. issue with Kane, though, I've found is if you if if he plays a team who oh what's the word they they, they it's he's very he's surprisingly easy to mark out the game. I've noticed. If it's like um how do you remember when Ander Herrera marked Hazard out the game because he just followed him. Yeah. And Chelsea played really badly. Uh. If you do that to Spurs. Son does rely on Kane's distribution as well for him to get goals. And I've noticed it a lot more this season because they haven't been having much possession. If you can mark Kane out the game, it's it's almost curtains for them, to be honest. It's a bit nuts, his passing ability. I never really realised. Oh, he's really good at passing. Yeah. I, I, I didn't realise it until this season. But when we played them, yeah. he didn't see much in the game. He didn't really seem like he was like quite crucial to Spurs and they didn't score for it but yeah yeah it, it, I've noticed this cool. season especially his passing is is he's definitely cool. improved on this season um, but uh, I think I think he's well on his way to uh, being top goal scorer for England as well uh, to be honest I think he'll, he'll be able to beat Rooney um, easily do you know how far off he is? Uh, I think he's on 20 yard and Rooney's on 50 so if he <laughs> Scores at the same rate he has been, he'll be there in no time. Um, let's have a look. Harry Kane. I remember I've created a career mode with one of my mates like in 2014, just before he broke into Tottenham's first team. And we took the piss out of him for being like proper English name. And then he went and banged in 20 odd goals that season. Um, he scored 32 goals for England. So. No, he's not far off. He's not. He's, yeah, I think, I think he'll get that. Yeah. All right. So, well, should we do the quiz? Because I feel like we've had this good, good football talk. But let's be honest, Mills, you're not really. I am <laughs> invested. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? All right. Well, uh, so we've got this this quiz. It's the I'm I'm, na- I'm naming it best mate, co-host, and sister. Who knows me better? Quiz. It's who says it first. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's it's it's. Because mm-hmm. then it's boring. To go through it. No, no, but what about connection issues and stuff? Me, he's always yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna say it first every no, time. No, 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 see, uh, no, no cheating here. We've got we've got five questions. 
All right. Has everyone got pen and paper? Do we need pen and paper? Yeah. yeah. I've got I've got my notes up. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I can well, see. You can see the there's, no, there's no answers. Yeah. Okay. Question one: What is my favourite movie? Is it A. Tenet, B. Endgame, or C. Infinity War? What is, is it the first one? A. Tenet, the new movie from Christopher Nolan. Thanks, Watched it in the cinema with Theo. That was so nice. We had a Budweiser. The seats reclined. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So A. Tenet, B. Endgame, C. Infinity War. I've got no answers. Course. I've got. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Two, who is my favourite artist? Is it A, Mumford and Sons, B, Kooks, or C, Stormzy? Uh, D, I love it. Pick out Ratters. Huh? Or D, Ratters. <laughs> hit single. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't think Ben's even... Have you seen that yet? The disc track? I haven't there? seen it. Uh, in ages. Oh. Seen in it, ages. Though? It's not online anymore. Uh, if ben, uh, John can send the link and then I could I could forward it to you if you want. <laughs> it's funny. Cutting a snippet into the podcast. No. <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> uh, three. Who is my favourite all-time player? Is it A. Hazard, B. Lampard or C. Drogba? Is it A Hazard, B Lampard, or C Drogba? Question four. What is my favorite alcoholic spirit to have with a mixer? Is it A vodka, B gin, or C tequila? Tequila. Not nice. And question five. Which of these is my favorite beer? Is it A San Miguel, B Bira Moretti, or C? Star of Pramen. Wait, just it's Italian. You have to say it like that. Birra Meretti. A, San Miguel. B, Birra Meretti. C, Star of Pramen. Where's San Miguel from? <laughs> You're trying to show off to me. Yeah, San Miguel, he's, he's half Italian. That's what I'm doing, yeah? Wait, what's San Miguel? It's a beer. From where? I don't know. It's Spanish. It's, uh, Spanish. it's San Miguel Spanish, yeah. I was going to say, then why are you trying to Spanish? Accent? And Star of Pramen's Czech or something in it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'll ask you guys individually your answers, and you can read you can read them out to everyone. Yeah. Okay. All right. Question one, Millie. What is my favourite movie? Infinity War. Theo. Endgame. Ben. Oh, I went that. Oh, you all put different answers. Theo got it correct though. <laughs> is it Infinity War? No, it's Endgame. You prefer it to Endgame? Yes. Wait, which one's which? Oh, for oh. God's sake. Which is, one, which is the one where the guy dies? Everyone dies in Infinity War. Spoilers for everyone. Endgame's the, Endgame the last one. The one where the, you cried when I you were next to me cry. in the in the thing. <laughs> didn't cry. You did? Didn't cry. You, did. you got it wrong. You got it wrong anyway, Millie. Is this, is this Millie's first so, and last? So, so emotionally <laughs> invested. <laughs> no, because it's the one where... Well, it's not a spoiler because everyone's watched it. But what's his name? Well, Iron Man dies in Endgame. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he's there in the seat, like. <laughs> 21, 21 movies. So 20, 21 movies, mate. 21 movies. Oh. My life. Oh. Uh, okay, fuck it. Question two. <laughs> who is my favourite artist? Is it A. Mumford and Sons, B. Kooks, C. Stormzy? <laughs> Millie, who did you put? Mumford and Sons. Theo? Mumford and Sons. And Ben? Mumford and Sons. It's the only Yay! All of you got it right. What were you on um, Spotify Wrapped? What percentage? Uh, Top one, I think. Top 1%? Gee. Yeah. That is, that's atrocious. I was top 0.5% of my favourite artists. Yes, but Mumford & Sons is a big band, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. uh, question three. Favourite all-time player? Is it A, Hazard, B, Lampard, or C, Drogba, Millie? Drogba, but my favourite is Theo? Lampard. I don't care what your favourite is. It's my favourite, Theo. <laughs> but I put Lampard... But I got reasons for you liking Jogba as well. All right, Ben. I put Jogba. You know what? In my head, it was bloody hard. It was bloody it was hard. But it was you Lampard. don't even know. Lampard. It was, Lampard. It was not Lampard. Oh, as, as, a, as a child, as a child, as well as now he's our manager. That was my favorite. Just because he's your favorite cut doesn't mean he can't be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Theo's Theo's done three out of three, right? Oh, yeah. Your best oh. friends or something. <laughs> Someone's salty. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, you're you're question know four. I'm what is your favourite alcoholic spirit? 
that I have with a mixer. Millie? Vodka. Theo? Vodka. Ben? Vodka, but... If you lie, none of the other two. It's gin. No, it's... You always have vodka. Millie, when I'm at home, only because mum drinks all the bloody vodka, sorry, gin, I would rather have a gin with lemon squash what? than anything else. Uh, that's, that's not... Nice! Not vodka. I knew you'd like Gin and lemon. No, gin and lemon is, is my go-to if I can have it. Gin, no, and, gin and lemon. Oh, gin. No. You're drinking vodka right now? Yeah, because we can't... I can't have... All my, all my mum gets is fancy gin, so I can't have her fancy gin. I'm not allowed. Last time I last time I saw you, you showed me a little uh, vodka, a, like mixer drink that you um you made. It was it was it have been it would have been gin and lemon squash. No, no, it was Actually, like vodka lemon squash, a bit of like um, sparkling water or something like that. And yeah, then, I don't. I mix between that the two. But I, pref- I, it's, I mix between the two, but I prefer the taste of gin and lemon squash. Sorry, guys. Oh dear. Cheats. Anyway, I reckon five. If all favorite. three of us have put vodka, huh? we know probably, it's vodka. We probably it's know you better than you know yourself, Mac. It's vodka. <laughs> you better pretend I'm bougie. I like gin or vodka. Well, no, I drink. Nice. More, I drink more vodka more because it's cheaper. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I definitely would never touch tequila. That's horrific. Uh, question five: Which is my favourite beer? A. San Miguel. B. Birra Maretti. Or C. Star Pramen. Millie, what is it? San Miguel. Theo. Star Pramen. Ben. Oh, Maretti. Ben gets it correct. It's oh. San Miguel. That's what you drink. Okay, the two drinks is what you drank since being home all yes, the time. Yes, because no, it's not. I tr- I drank beer and Maretti whenever I can. Okay, sure. And actually, we've had Star Pramen more than we had San Miguel. So. I got one. Millie got one. That is <laughs> shocking. Theo, what did you get? I got f- I got three. Because the drinks are lies. Oh yeah, the drinks. And Ben, what did you get? Uh, let me. So uh, Tenet wasn't right. Yeah. What was the second one? Mumford and Sons was correct. Mumford and Sons was right. So one. That was the, th- the third question. I think you got two. Dropper and vodka are wrong. Yeah, you got drop. You put dropper and vodka, which were wrong. But then yeah. you got them right. Yeah. yeah. Two. Yeah. All right. Well, Theo has two gulps. Millie has four gulps, and Ben has three gulps. And Theo knows me best. No. What an honour! What an honour! <laughs> I'd like to, yeah, thank all my participants. Sit there. For not knowing him. Hang on a second. All right. Back from a little break. Filled up my drink. Gone to the loo. All that lot. But. Uh, We've done a little <laughs> thing. United are playing right now. Mm. We've, we've said uh, what time either United will get a penalty or a score. Thea, what, do you want to read out what we, what we said? Yeah, so we've done a sort of United penalty bingo. Whoever gets the closest gets to give out <laughs> how many sips of drinks. But we've got <laughs> um, Millie saying 76 minute, Ben saying 78, Mac is saying 85, and I've said 86, just to shit house the end. <laughs> <laughs> so currently currently it is the 58th minute so we will keep you guys up to date to play along kind of like well, everyone will know actually by the time this is this is out but let's be honest you know they're probably going to get a penalty or goal late and so Theo's probably going to win because it's uh... but then if it happens at the beginning I win all of them up to 76 minutes yeah mm-hmm. so any goal from now so you've got you got a good chunk of time Millie to get some points yeah they're on the 61st minute now so I think um, Millie's at the you got you got I'll fifteen minutes. Yeah, you got some time. You got some. You, fifteen you got minutes. Come on. Yeah, come on. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> what else were we we about to talk about? Uh, we're gonna do the cahoots. We were gonna do what? the cahoots. Yeah, Fernandez being. Can we share the screen now? Best player in Premier League history, isn't it? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. Stop. Uh, I was gonna, actually, I was gonna ask, uh, who do you think is gonna is the most promising young player right now? Theo and Ben. I mean, you can actually you don't know anyone. Do you know any young players? Tom McPhee. Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, ben, Ben, and Theo, young player that's gonna most most promising young player. Start with start with Ben and then Theo. I'd like to think Phil Foden. <laughs> he starts playing more, but whether that happens or not is another thing. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I'll go Phil Foden. Alright, yeah. I I'd easily put Phil Foden top three for Prem at the moment. But um, I really like Terry Lanty. He's had a good like debut season with Brighton. 
I think he's got a good future. He could probably play like right mid, maybe even wing if he he's he's fast and he's he's like he's got a very good attacking brain. Like I remember his debut against Arsenal. Um he made a little run and Tammy missed the shot, but it was it would have been a wonderful assist. But mm. apart from that, I think Reese James has been good. Dips in form. But um That's with injury to be fair to him. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But I, I think either, you know, it's looking good for the right back position anyway, but uh Foden, Greenwood, Greenwood, if he's if he gets more playing time and he's as clinical as he is, he could be like in one of England's best. Mm. But um I had to pick one, obviously I'd say Reese James. Fair enough. Yeah. You know what? I will probably say Reese James as well. He he when he when he's playing well, has no injuries, he's he's played for a couple of games, he just looks so so good on that right on that right flank, defensively and attacking his crosses. They remember the uh was it the Spurs game where Abraham should have buried three perfect crosses from, from <laughs> Reese James. Like it's yeah, really- uh, Reese James, if he's had if he's if he's had enough game if he's if he's fully fit, then yeah, reach, reach James for me. Uh, shout shout outs to outside the outside the Premier League though. I'd say Ansu Fati looks disgusting uh, when I've seen him play for Spain and Barcelona. Uh, Haaland, obviously uh, would love it oh, if yeah. you do sign him. Uh, and um, who's uh they've got Dortmund have got a new seventeen year old. Oh, the, the, the striker, striker, yeah, he scored in his debut, didn't he? Youngest ever, youngest ever Bundesliga goal scorer. It was, it, was, it was a great goal as well. It was yeah. that tight angle, proof of the net. Mm. So yeah, there's there's a lot of youngsters out there looking good. Obviously, Mbappe's still what twenty? Yeah, he's twenty. Uh, <laughs> is he twenty one or twenty? I look at yeah, he's, he's young, isn't he? Um, yeah, yeah, he's very young, and he's and he's at that that level, which is crazy. Um, yeah, but I, I, I oh, he's twenty two. He's twenty two. Sorry. I'd also shout out. I'd shout out Mount. Look, this is yeah. Why, uh, why fully I, shout out. I, got, I got asked the question yesterday, right? I got asked in the stream, "What's so good about Mount? How is he? How is he starting?" And it's just if you watch him every game, day in, day out, the effort, the the off the ball work, and the involvement in pretty much all the attacks in terms of the build up play to get to that attack, he's so involved, and it's it's almost highlighted by. The, the assist he did for Hudson Odoi in the Champions League, where mm-hmm. their mid one of the was it who was it? I can't remember who it was against Krasnodar, maybe. No, it was Ren. Ren, and he 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 tries to get the ball five times from this from this player. Finally, gets the ball. Counter attacks, turns. It looks like he's, he he cuts back because he just he just at the corner of eye you can just see Hudson Odoi running in. Cuts back. He's got, he's got perfect, three good options as well. He's got yeah, and he gets um, he, he does it perfectly. Perfect weight of the ball, and it's yeah, like in like, fact he wins the ball back. And then he does the assist. And Werner, Abraham, and then Hudson Odoi. And you could see, like, I think, I don't know if he, he, he lost the ball or someone else, but he tracked back, like, nice little tackle. And then you could literally see him, like, weighing out e- each option. And Hudson Odoi is the best one. And there was, like, beautiful two touches. And it was, it was also probably the hardest one to get to as well, like, the hardest pass to make. Yeah, it was the longest ball. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, it just, it just sums, up, that sums him up, in my opinion, kind of. Just his his desire to win the ball back in defence and his his work rate. He's always back in the box. Like if if a team's counter attacked or attacked us, he's always back in the in our box to to defend. And mm. then he, he's also his distribution is just so much better this season. His cross cross field passing is just, I was laughing because I, I think Millie's sat actually thinking why she agreed to this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know resting no. Resting bitch face. Like my face is like interested. It's just everyone's <laughs> angry all the time and it's just all right, well let's let's get millie involved so I've, just, I've just brought uh, up the you, you're interested yeah who, who do we talk about then <laughs> and what were you saying sorry oh yeah i brought up the uh the bbc sport thing and someone's texted in saying this game has an 85th minute fernandez pe- penalty written all over it so someone someone agrees someone agrees with you <laughs> so, yeah, so someone funny. does agree with me for sure, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes. If of, although, how long do we have all of us? Gone? Uh, you've got ten minutes. Ten minutes. All, all of us will be bloody chuffed if Wolves win this. Oh, I, I'll be happy with the draw. Ecstatic, ecstatic. I'll be happy with the draw. I think, yeah. I think Pedro Neto top bins finish in the eighty fifth minute. I'll take. <laughs> I think, I think I get the drinks as well if that happens 85th minute, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, man, you go second if they win this as well. 
do they? Yeah. We would have gone second if our game hadn't been cancelled. Yes, we would have gone second if we'd beaten anyone. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, just <laughs> won, won a game. Yeah. No, no, if we, I think if we beat in Villa, we could have gone second. Mm, yeah, well, that shows how close it is at the top. Um, minus Liverpool to an extent. Um, yeah. no, well, I know this is, a, this is a football podcast, and I'm sure Theo will get you I mean, to talk about football, but we have unfortunately, not unfortunately, sorry, that was a bit rude. <laughs> <That's not laughs> All right. <laughs> I so, think we should talk right. about hockey just for that, Maccas. Come on. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> No, 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 no. I, was, I was just gonna say. I didn't mean that. Didn't mean that. But I was saying, let's You've do the cahoot. Me. Let's do. The, so I was I, just gonna say, in terms of young players, uh, I know they're they're doing a bit dodgy at the moment. But Arsenal, I've got well, some fantastic young players. So it's, I, it's, it's, I do young. really like Saka. I think he's yeah. great. He's so versatile. Yeah. Saka's so, like an opposite version of Lamptey in the sense that he's a winger who can play left back, whereas Lamptey's a full back who can play winger. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's kind of forward, right? Uh, wingers, wingers are forward here. Yeah. 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 So it's kind, <laughs> kind of. I'm just getting involved. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of um, sort of. That's that. Even though the squad's not amazing, it's that their squad's good enough to be <laughs> higher up the league for definite. Especially with those young players, like their squad is better than where they are in the league. Oh. What's that here? <laughs> It's the drink alarm. <laughs> Does that just mean you have to do a sip? Uh, big gulp, please, big gulp. Because we, we did shots before, but uh, we're going to make it, you know, you know, drink alarm, drink alarm. All right. Yeah, they're, 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 they, they should be higher up. Well, they should be doing better than they are. Mm. Well, uh, should, we, should we do this? Um, this well, sorry, what are you saying? I'm just, I was just going to say I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> right. not, 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 not too fussed, but like they, they should be doing doing better in the league, definitely. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, that's uh. So me and Millie have been watching the every Marvel movie in the in the in the order that they're set in. So starting with like Captain America. History. Yeah. Starting with Captain Historical. America, then then Captain Marvel and all that. This was in lockdown. Yeah. So this, this did start ages ago. Oh. We're currently. We've got Ant Man and Wasp. We've we're just got to finish that to one. Finish and then Endgame. Endgame, then Spider, the new Spider Man to watch. We're, we're Tom almost Holland. there. Millie, Millie fancies Tom Holland. Does, um, does the Spider Man? <laughs> does the Into the Spider Verse count? No, it's not. It's not yeah. Marvel Cinema. That's a, that's a cracking film, though. Oh, it's, it's so good. Arguably one of the best Spider Man films. Yeah. In my opinion. What's the name in it? It's a cartoon. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's got, it's got what's the name? It's animated. It's, it's, anime. it's very good. It's very. Have you watched? Have you not watched it? Why flat and uni always watch anime, like the wishing well or something. I'm just like, no. Uh, it's not a. Uh, it's not anime, but yeah. No, but like people watch anime in my flat. Like there's oh. one, which they will try to make me watch, and I just. Yeah, Demon Slayer is pretty good. Uh, one Punch Man. Tom watches anime. Uh, yeah, there's a couple good ones. Anyway, um, I'm not a fan personally. Neither yeah. am I. I was okay. Can I say I, was, I wasn't a fan actually till the start of this 2020. I wasn't a fan Makes until the start no of 2020. But, um, showing you, showing okay, you. I, I've been trying to get us on this cahoot. Let's not talk about. What anime. is your favorite no. movie of all time? Showing you in a in a geek that. Uh, you know. Oh, actually, yeah. What, that's awesome. Theo, what's your favorite movie of all time? She's becoming the host now. That is a fucking yeah. shocking question. How am I meant to answer that? I can answer my question. Go on, answer it. Um, um, no, Steve's going. No, no, give him some time to think because yeah, he, he's, yeah, 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 he's yeah. an actor, so you know, he's got time to think for his movie. Because no, he's, he's an actor. <laughs> I thought he's, he's, like he's an actor who's time to think. No. <laughs> 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 Fire the shot. Sorry. Oh, that's what I meant. Sorry. That's what I meant because I mean, he's very, like, in the movie, movie business. That's why. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not no. having this. Not having this. <laughs> I, I, do, I do only do film studies. Come on. Right. <laughs> he's learning music, so it's actually. I do music at Leeds Concert Avatar. What is that? What's that? Being someone, someone, uh, sounds like uh, Skype, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is that for, yeah, it's Skype, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. That's actually my bad. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, Who's FaceTiming? We're in there. Uh, at one point, <laughs> I had like my flat call because I've got. Anyway, anyway. Uh, what's your favorite movie, that, movie then, Theo? Um, it's actually a bit of a sentimental one. And it's going to sound really nerdy because yeah. um, it's, oh, 
It's uh, Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. It's like a Wes Anderson one. Um, yeah, oh, that's that's quite that's quite a. Uh, um, you have to be proper into films to to be like. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen Talented Mr. Ripley with uh, Jude Law, Matt Damon? I've heard. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've heard of it. I haven't watched it though. I haven't watched that's, it. That's that's oh. it's like a banging like mystery film. It's right. about um, this guy who steals a bunch of people's identities. And it's quite creepy, but I like that. Uh, but I don't know, like from recent films I've seen, I saw Klaus, um, which was like this good animated Christmas. Yeah, good Christmas, Christmas film. film. Yeah. That's actually really good. That's like a Christmas classic to come, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's been nominated for Academy Awards, stuff like that. It's like the animation style is like really traditional, but it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's really good, cool. yeah. And then like, that new Spider-Man film, the uh, Into the Spider-Verse, is really oh, good. Oh, it's very good. Oh, that's some... and it's it's actually really good. You have to watch yeah. it. Uh, actually, some... yeah, that's that's our next scrap scrap. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. We're no, watching. we're We are watching. We are watching Spider-Man Into Spider-Verse next. We have to. Oh. I can't believe you ever watched it. I haven't yeah, watched I... any of the Holland ones. You have. We watched it together. <laughs> we watched the first one together. We watched. We were watching through every with everything. Oh, the first one, but not the one where he like gets on the bus. Oh, yeah, I have. I'm oh my oh, god. god. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, ah, uh, try to think, me. Um, I, I'm a fan of Christopher Nolan's films. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I mentioned Tenet. Me, um, uh, yeah, I like obviously the the Batman trilogy. Oh yeah, Inceptions. You know, obviously it's that's confusing. It. I confusing. Not it. No, I watched it when I was like. 11. Uh, you gotta uh, watch it. You gotta watch it now. You're slightly smarter. I thought uh, Memento. That's that. Uh, that's a classic. Timer. Am I drinking? Drink. Pick, pick up. Let's go. Pick, pick up. Pick um, up. Pick up. Pick up. Pick Memento up. is really good. Memento is a bit of a head fuck, but yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I really like Interstellar as well. Yeah. Um, Dunkirk. I, I just I I can't choose one of these. One I think. Like Dunkirk is probably one of the best I'll ones. Yeah, I think um, maybe Dunkirk, but it's just there's loads of really clever things. Like there's a there's a ticking sound. Yeah, in, during in the, the whole soundtrack film. through the whole film, and you because you you're you kind of um, psychologically you you filter it out, but it's always there. And it just it changes the tone completely. You're just yeah. like. It's yeah. the most intense film I've ever watched. I'm just like, yeah. what the fuck? is it the one which is which is filmed to look like it's it's filmed all the way through? Or is that? Oh, that's um, 19... 1917. 1917? Yeah. 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 I haven't watched that. I haven't watched that as well. That's going to be really good. Yeah, Dunkirk. It's like it's it's intellectual. It's intellectual. <laughs> I sing, so I like like. Oh, hers is going to be like um yeah. uh bloody hell, what's it called? Sound of Music or something, isn't it? Is it? No. What is it, Emily? Okay. Well, like I've got all the, mu <laughs> the musicals, which are like Les Mis Prom's and good. Phantom, and we, me and Millie, me, we watched me Prom. And... Prom is really good. The new one with like James, James, Corden, James Corden, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. No, not too much. My sister watched that. Keegan Key. It's, it's Keegan really Key funny. It. He's yeah. singing it. It's really good. Yeah, I think my sister oh, watched that. I think. It's on Netflix. I would check it out. I, it, it, I also you have to get through the first five. I'll watch the first ten series. I was about to leave after the first five ten minutes. Why? It does get a lot better. It does get a lot better. What, what was wrong with the first five ten? Was it just slow? It was very, it was very, James very, very camp singing along kind of musical. Musical, and then and then it gets better. So I have to, I have to, you have to give it that. Yeah. It's just yeah. a bit like TV. My favorite movie is imitate like movie, like not musical movie. Yeah. Like there's the Bridget Jones trilogy, which can be taken away. That's just my guilty. <laughs> that can be oh my, my guilty God. pleasure. It's so good. Colin Firth. Can I? Okay. Anyway, let's move on. I got made to watch Mamma Mia 2 the other day. Actually. Game, better come back. <laughs> Sherlock, actually, but that's not moving. What was, what was, what was that, the first one? Imitation, Imitation Game. Like Imitation Game is a good film. It's yeah. such a good movie. Like, the last was, scene. It's not such a good movie. Millie just adores no, Better Make Come Back. The last scene. It is, it is a good movie. With Kira Knightley when she comes. It is a good movie. When she comes so, to tell him, like, the world wouldn't be the same. That's you, you do know, you've been to Kitty's house. Yeah. You do know that the, he was literally lived around near where yeah, kids yeah, yeah. Alan yeah. Way. Really? Yeah, so he's like down the road from where where we live. So, no way. The actual 
person. One of Britain's and greatest Jerry, minds. It's movie. like our Einstein, basically. Yeah, yeah. Ben, ben told me way. about it. Um, about how That's so cool. Like you can go. You, the house is someone lives in the what house, but you can go to it. The German. It was the um. The Enigma. How did you not know? I haven't, watched, I haven't actually watched the movie yet. It's I not just, movie. What? It's history. It's a quality movie. I know. I've not watched it. I've got a lot of movies I haven't watched. It's it. a, you should know it as well because they were so key to it's winning the war. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I That's think I'll go. I think I'll go Dunkirk because it's got this. It's filmed with like three perspectives. That's it. Yeah. So that's it's that's land, sea, and air, and it also uses this thing where it's. I forgot what it's called, but it's the thing in music where it just carries on going up. It's infinitely yeah, in crescendo. Yeah, but it, it just keeps on going. You don't think it's going to end like that bit in the soundtrack, and it, it really? makes you really sort of wound up. But it's it's fantastic. My mate was at the BFI, and he met. Um, you, do you know Jack Loudon? He played one of the fighter pilots in it. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he literally like met him at the BFI, and he's like, he's a massive Christopher Nolan fan, and like, he Dunkirk is his favorite film, so he's literally just stood in the middle of like. <laughs> Uh, so it's in the middle of this cafe, just like fangirling over this accent. <laughs> just like a full, like six foot four, 22 year old, like big American guy who's like screaming. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it is good. I mean, I think. Uh, even screen share Millie on your laptop. You click screen share. I yeah. mean, even uh, Harry Styles in that film was. Good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because apparently he. He didn't, he didn't like going like, oh, I'm Harry Styles, give us a part. He like auditioned properly, didn't he, and stuff. Yeah, he fully um, went through. And Christopher Nolan touched, uh, chose him, not even knowing who he was, I think. No way. So, uh, like, it's, yeah, it's just a good film. <laughs> no, yeah, I really like it. Oh, it's 78 minutes. 78 minutes. Oh, Billy, it's past yours. Aww. Closer, closer to, to Ben's now. I don't actually know, Tommy, but also... We're almost done. Yeah, we've got to do, just got to do the Kahoot and we're done, Mills. But I don't know where, um, how to do it. Right. Couldn't um, one of the other two put Kahoot up? Yeah, actually, uh, you guys are you guys all right with one of you two doing it? Because it's not working on um, uh, our screen. How, how do you do it? Go. Oh. <laughs> Every time that goes off, you act like you weren't expecting it, which you're obviously not, but it sounds like you are. Yeah. Oh, honestly, I just put a random title. I literally just scroll the time. I just put it on. Ah, okay. <clears throat> um, Millie, you have to have a, uh, a quick gulp. Why? Because the timer went off. <laughs> uh, type in Marvel on the Kahoot. Has anyone got a login? I'm sorry, but that was really gross. Uh, no. uh, you made it like your strength. I mean, we could, we could just. Yeah, I, I realise. Yeah, but this is my second, second vodka drink. So. It's fine. There we go. Sorry, mom, if you're listening. <laughs> we, could just, we could just uh, bin it and. Do... Oh, he's frozen. Uh, Phil, oh. he's back, he's back. Yeah. I think we should we finish just, it. We could just bin it and do another... Uh... I think we should do that. No, what's, what are you saying, man? I said we could bin it and just do like another quiz on you or something. Okay. Oh, yeah, or we could oh, show my, no. my, new, my single, you know, I'll get okay. the motion. How, how, yeah, how about this, how about this? Millie's going to play her song from her phone. <laughs> no, not now. Yes, now, you said you wanted to do it. Millie's going to play her song from her phone, her new, kinda... new single that was, she's not released joking. yet. And uh, whilst I do this uh, quiz quickly. I think um, we can also we can also discuss um, since we've done films. Yeah, actually, give me the like twenty twenty. I was oh, I was ready to show my song. Ruined it. Oh, do it, do it then. <laughs> <Good now. laughs> right, let's, we'll talk about music anyway. Yeah, talk about music. Why not? What, what, what are you I'll using? Song in the background. Can we sec? How <laughs> <So> excited! <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> that wasn't even. I don't know. That was just the pure excitement. <laughs> Um, find it. Yeah, what, what sort of music are you using to? Um, uh, who's going first? I don't know. Go on, you go for it. No, no I, well, I sing opera. Well, I do. <laughs> I do classical singing. Wow, that was amazing, Tom. Uh, I, can, I can see it runs in the family. It does. <laughs> all the things. But um, I do opera singing in uni, but I write pop songs. Songwriting, like, yeah, that's it. Nice. So, 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 so,
Well, I think next year we've got a songwriting like module, but my course is basically like history of music, contextual like, studies of classical. So, but like, say you stick in your earphones, are you going to stick on some pop or are you going to stick on some classical and walking on it? Yeah. Jamming out some like. Well, I'm not. I don't and stuff. Out it's not just like, oh yeah, this this slap. <laughs> yeah. like, it's like, oh, I, I just love this piece. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's it called? Um, if Theo puts something on Netflix, he probably doesn't put on a stage show or like. Nah, it it would take it would take me like a bit of effort to put on an old film. Yeah. Like, because it's like slower and it's not like today's. Right. Yeah. Then, like, for me, like, I don't listen to opera music. I might maybe once in a while watch an opera. Okay, okay. I might listen but, to it when I'm studying it, but... but who, who was your top five artists on your Spotify, then? I don't know if it's embarrassing. Well, um, like, Tate McRae, people wouldn't know them, Sony and stuff. Okay. Who? I don't know. Who? Oh, <laughs> these they are. Like, they're just... Wait, if I can find... And, like, Amy Winehouse, probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I have it on... My... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit more of a, I'm not not as um as an acquired taste. I, it's, I'm more like uh, EDM and house and stuff like that. So yeah, the, the, Viva, the Viva playlist, right? Viva playlist is you gotta, oh, really you gotta stick it on. I used to play this. It's Ben Ben made a playlist, and I listen to all. That. It's an absolutely quality playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just say so himself. If I don't say so myself, you know. But yeah, I think my top five was like just DJs like um Tom will probably know him, like Kygo. Yeah. Um I do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh that's not sure I'm the others. Like Robin Schultz, people yeah. like that. Oh bangers. Yeah, no, no. Uh, you, you should put your um your playlist in the description actually. <laughs> down below and get like loads of hits. Go, go and go and have a, have a little gander at the, yeah. the How do I play it? Well, um, no, but he's going to say his. Um, uh, so you, let, let Theo say his, and then we'll play a bit of your song whilst I keep on finishing this. Uh, and then. Oh, no, I'll, I'll be quite a familiar song. My, my, you say, say, you'll say, say yours, yours first. first. You say yours first. So uh, it's a bit embarrassing. No, but no. I, got Drake, I got Drake number one. Uh, um, good. I would have said that if. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's always one. Um, <laughs> but then I got like. Um, I'm I'm working on like doing a music video for uh, this artist called Laos the Cat, so I'm I listen to a lot of his uh, music and then just some other I I like like a lot of U UK rappers so like, I had Skepta I did op have Octavian but I've taken all his music off now because there's a lot of con controversy around him but then um, who else was it? Uh, Drake Neuromasser and stuff like that but yeah. Drink, drink, by the way. Wait, drink. can I play it? I don't know if you can hear it. Can you guys hear it? Can you hear that or not? I haven't played it. Well, no, I played like a little bit. Give us a thumbs up. Hear it. I'm actually quiet. I can't actually sit. I can't actually sit. You got like a bit of a house element. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I don't know. It's good. I like it. Shall I close it? No, I've not finished it. I'm not allowed to close it. I prefer the second verse, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think you'd find this on some of the tropical house playlists. Yeah, I, easily. I uh, I've I got on. Yeah, bit a bit of a bit, a, bit of a sprinkle of tropical house in there for me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it was good. I mean, do, do you know what? Do you know? Uh, do you know what tropical house is? Yeah. Oh. What? Okay. Explain, explain, explain to me that. Go on. Tropical house. So it's 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 basically it's house, but the BPM slightly lower. It's like chilled. Yeah, it's yeah. like that. It's a bit echoed. Yeah. Like so yeah, a bit a bit of sprinkle of that in there. <laughs> Any of you into a bit of like a Latino? No. What reggaeton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of Bad Bunny and stuff like that. A bit of uh, Osuna and that. Yeah. He, he was in my top artist. <laughs> was he? Yeah, somehow. But yeah. Hey, that's what they play in Spain. Yeah, no, it's, it is good. Have you got you, your uh, um, quiz done yet, Tom? I'm on question five, so we're almost there. We're almost there. <sighs> Take your time, honestly. This is hard, man. I've, I've actually been writing it out. Uh... Eight, eighth minute, still nil nil. Uh, so, oh, no, 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 no. so it's just all it's Theo's to win now. Yeah, this yeah, isn't, yeah. yeah. This actually isn't very interesting for the viewers who are going to watch this on New Year's because they'll know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The black. <laughs> we know it's nil now. <laughs> oh, we know we know Poland scored or whatever. Like, yeah. He's a Wolves player. Silky. <laughs> all right, I'm literally done. Just, Speak, speak between yourselves. I'm literally come on, for the last question. Uh, you're hosting the podcast, Marcus. Come on, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I just had a great question. Uh, what's the question? Then, That's unfair. She knows the answer to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, all right, got five questions again for you guys. Is this uh, about you? First three are about the podcast. And Ben, I still want you to answer them. Hey, I still want you Where's to answer the, um, them. I still want you to answer them, Ben, just to see actually how well you know the podcast. Who right. really knows? Yeah. <laughs> All righty. So uh, for the quiz, it's it's three questions on the podcast. Ben, I still want you to answer them just for fun. And yeah. then two questions about me, because it's all about me, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah. In it. Question one, which video has the most guests? Is it A, the Christmas special? Is it B, the 500 subscriber special? Or is it C, chatting with F1 debate show? I feel like this is a again. trick question. Say this again. Is it A, the Christmas special? B, 500 subscriber special? Or C, chatting with F1 debate show with which video has the most guests? Wait, how many do you have on the Christmas debate show? Yeah, that just gives away. <laughs> <laughs> don't try and trick me, Theo. I'm seeing if you could like, you know. Uh, don't try and trick me. Have you got your answer down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, question two. Which has the least views? It's not the least viewed video on our channel, but which has the least views out of these three videos? Is it A, the Christmas special, B, Premier League transfer rumours and news, or C, chatting with Fuad from 360 TV? You've seen the answers, haven't you? Why? No, I was asking if you've seen the answers. Did I get them right? No, I'm saying have you seen the answers? No. Cool. You ever got it? Yeah. yeah sure. Question have I got it right? Three. Should no, I tell everyone the answer? Question three, which was my favourite video to record? Just... Was, it... <laughs> was it chatting with comics by Perch? Was it the Christmas special? Or was it chatting with Motto Meerkat? Oh, uh, yeah. Was it A, chatting with comics by Perch, B, Christmas special, or C, chatting with Motto Meerkat? Well, so, yeah, yeah, I've got one. What about Dad and Grandad? The, that's they? really difficult, actually, because, so the comic special, you like superheroes and that, so <laughs> there we go. B, <laughs> Christmas, there was probably a lot of drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And C, you got John on there, you're good mates, and, you know, you like to talk about Formula One. It's, uh, I don't know, Ben does. I do. Oh, so it won't just anyway, question answer. four. Ooh, so he's narrowed it down for us. <laughs> question four. What do I prefer? Bitter or lager? I don't know. What do I prefer? Bitter How many questions are there? or lager? Five. Okay. I feel like I'm in a school test. 
Let's put your hand up. I should have revised. Question five, final question. Which is my favourite club in Swansea? Swansea. Is it A, Fiction, B, Sin, or C, Idols? Wait, what are those? Which is my favourite club in Swansea? Are those football clubs? No, they're, they're party clubs. Oh. Which is like my favourite club in that. Swansea? A, I, was, I was thinking that. I was like, it's also one team in Swansea. No, no. I have party no club. I have no clue. A, A, Fiction, B, C, and C, Idols. You haven't even put the answers on there. I have for the first time. I've written them down. Yeah, all right. All right, question one. Which video has the most guests? Ben, we'll go first. Uh, 500 subscriber special. 500 subscriber special? 500. Cool. Uh, Millie? B. Which, yeah, and Ben? Sorry. Oh my God, why did I say Ben? Theo? I'm leaving. Uh, <laughs> no. Can't even get my name right. C. I'll put um, whatever it was, but it's probably not. F1, F1 debate show. Yeah. So with two people was Christmas special, with two people was chatting with F1 Debate Show, and three people was 500 subscriber special. Uh, two, which has the least views, Millie? What did you put down? C. Chatting with Fuad from 360 TV. Ben? I said chatting with Fuad. And Theo? Yeah, I put that on C. I genuinely, know? genuinely. <laughs> it so, says C. <laughs> so, with 63 views was Christmas special, with 55 views was Premier League transfer rumours and news, and 48 views was chatting with Fuad from 360 TV. So, both, all three of you got that right. <laughs> Question three yeah. Which was. I think that's probably because. I think that's, was that? I think that's probably because it doesn't say Tottenham or anything like that. Yeah, so it should have been. It should. I probably should have done history. Should have got them because those one. Those videos bang views. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all about the title, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we we thought because three sixty TV is pretty big. Uh, ninety one k followers on Instagram. Oh, more well, people are more likely to put in Tottenham than three sixty. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, three. What? Which was my favorite vid to record? Ben. I say comics by Perch. Christmas for Perch. Millie? I put B. Christmas special. Theo? I put A. Com chatting with Christmas by Perch. Must have been Christmas special with your mates, you know? It, it was Christmas special because I got absolutely oh, hammered. Yeah. One, That's two, three. Okay. I, 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 did, I did get hammered. Well. That's why I enjoyed it. But but to be fair, no, chatting, chatting, with, chatting with comics by Perch was probably my second because there was some mad stuff that he spoke to us about. Do you remember, Ben? I, quite, I found quite fascinating. So I, I do understand why you went that route. But at the same time, I got wankered with my mates, which was pretty fun. Question four. Uh, what do I prefer, bitter or lager? Bitter? Ben. Oh, I was ready for that one. I said I lager. I think it's lager, though. Millie. It... Hey, sh ben. I said lager. Millie? I said lager. No, you said bitter. I can see it written down. Thea? I said lager. Here's lager. But. But yesterday but, you were talking about how much you like bitter. But I'll start with a bitter. In the if, if, if we go to a pub, I will start with a bitter and then go on to lager. That's good to know. I'm ever going to get first rounds, and then you know, exactly right. Anyway, That's question five right. final question for this podcast Which is my favorite club in Swansea, Theo? Because you've been going out with me in Swansea, I'll ask you first. Fiction, <gasps> Millie? I fiction, Ben. I said idols. It is, in fact. He doesn't even know his answer. Like. Fiction. Yeah. Uh, I got one wrong. Millie, you got one. You got one wrong. You might have got one wrong. Sorry, I checked. I checked. She could like. She got the answers right. So. What a neek. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? I don't know how. I just did. So, Tia, what did you get? Three. Um, <laughs> Three, I think. God, I've, right, I've, what did you get for the first one, Ben? Mates. So no, Ben got the first one right. He got the second one right. He got the fourth one right. Yeah, he got three right. Fair enough. Okay, so two gulps for Ben and Theo, and one gulp for Spoons. Just... You, might, you might want to check the United score. Oh no, who scored? Oh, please tell me no. Who scored? 
Rashford. 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 90 plus three. Well, we said goal. We didn't say penalty. No, no, no. no, no I, did, I did say did say goal. So, uh, Theo, you can give out, what was it? You said 86, right? Yeah. Give out as many shots as you want. 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3. So, you get seven, seven sips to get gulps to give out. Or how about 86 sips? So, you know. <laughs> It would be here till the morning. Uh, okay, well, I'll give Macca's four. Okay. Yeah. Being such a great host. So just finish that off. See that off. Cheers, mate. <laughs> um, and I'll give uh, two to Mills and one to Ben since I'm... Um... Uh. I, was, I was expecting the one. I was so excited. <laughs> uh, well, is, there, is there anything else anyone wants to chat about before we, we wrap it up? Nah, just that obviously Bruno Fernandes is now the best player of all time. Because uh, <laughs> Anything you want to mention, Theo, before we, we wrap it up? Um, just thanks for having me. Brilliant. Mills? Thanks for having me. Happy, happy New Year. All right. Well, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed who was watching the, the uh, New Year's special. Um, it's been very fun to record. Do not please, please do not press the stop button before I finish. <laughs> I'll be viewing. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you are new around here. Wait, and it? like if you and press the like you do the thing. Oh, wait, we're not one screen. Notification button. Like, we're, we're, we're one screen. We could do like the. Oh no! When you like do that and you like put the thing on your screen, like your subscribing app. I don't edit anything. Go. Cool. Okay. This is this is the beauty of this Some podcast. I'm professional. Anyway. <laughs> thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you're new around here do subscribe and if you did enjoy the video please leave a like, like and let us know if how you right guys here. got on Sorry. how you guys <laughs> got on with the quizzes in the comments if you guys <laughs> did watch this far which i'll be surprised if anyone did because normally our view count is an average of two minutes i no. think which is not, to be fair it's not bad I'll, I'll take two minutes so you know i'll take two minutes and uh yeah anyway we'll see you guys our next podcast is going to be with Rick Sports. Our next podcast will probably be with Rick Sports. Uh, and then we're going to have a brand new show coming to the channel, which you guys have got to look forward to, which me and Ben and two other lads joining the podcast coming on soon. So I hope you guys have that to look forward to. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see you later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Millie and Theo, how did you find that? Yeah, fun. All right, we'll, see, wave. We'll, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.